All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the Leatherman Charge Plus and my experience, my kind of uh, thoughts and opinions on carrying a Leatherman Charge Plus for two years. Now, I should also say that not only have I had uh, been carrying a Leatherman Charge Plus for two years, I've also had a Leatherman, or I should say three Leatherman Charge Pluses over the course of the years. And um, yeah, so I have a lot of experience over a few of the different designs, and I really have to say that this has been one of my favorite EDC multi-tools. And let's Without any further ado, let's jump into kind of some of the biggest pros to the Charge Plus for being an EDC multi-tool. So for me, I think the first one has to be the size. And of course, this is far from the smallest Leatherman you can get. Even things like the uh, Skeletool are smaller. Of course, the now discontinued line of Squirts uh, were also smaller than this. The now discontinued line of juices it was definitely smaller than this. But what I mean by the size of this guy is I think it really strikes that kind of perfect balance for being a good tool to carry every day and also not be too much. This is something that you could carry in a belt sheath, but you can also carry in a pocket and it not be completely obnoxious. And at the same time too, it also I feel is a very useful size, not just in the way of the handle length, but because you have this slightly larger size, what that allows you to have is a pretty reasonably full-sized uh, plier kind of bit, if you will. So you still have a good amount of needle nose. You still have a good amount of needle nose. You still have a good amount of regular uh, plier. And then of course you have your uh, wire cutters, hardened wire cutters there. And so this is a really complete kind of plier head. And for reference here, I have a skeleton tool, and this kind of, I think, emphasizes the kind of differences, if you will. So you can see that the skeleton tool has a definitely smaller head, and while it still has the needle nose pliers, the needle nose pliers are much noticeably smaller, and also they call them needle nose pliers, but if you guys see there, there is a clear difference that the Charge Plus's needle nose pliers are more truthfully needle nose than the skeleton tools. They are certainly small on the skeleton tool, but these are definitely far more small and precise. Not to mention, too, the uh, wire cutters are far more robust than on something like the Skeletool. Tool. So, you know, depending on your applications and what you need in a multi-tool, the Skeletool Tool can be just fine. And I do EDC that one myself, but by and large, I really like having the full-on uh, plier head with the wire cutters, you know, being a little bit more industrial, a little bit larger. So for me, the first thing that I absolutely love about the charge plus is the size it's reasonable to carry and it's also reasonable to use like it's a very useful tool so the next thing of course i think that is a big deal killer or deal maker with multi-tools is the actual tools in it and while i'm not a huge fan of all of the tools that are included with the charge plus i think they've really covered all their bases starting on the inside you know you have scissors which are by far not the greatest scissors in the world but they are totally functional regardless to what some youtubers will say you know they are not the best scissors of multi-tool uh, craftsmanship but they are certainly more than functional like they do work pretty darn well another thing i think that has really slept on with a lot of Leatherman tools are these micro bit drivers. So you have like a micro Phillips, micro flathead. And I honestly use the heck out of these for a lot of different precise tasks. And it's nice when you do need a micro screwdriver to know that you have a multi-tool that has that on it. Because once again, I don't use micro screws every day or encounter things that have micro screws on them. But when I do, it is really nice to have that type of screwdriver. And then lastly, on the inside, I think of the most use is going to be that interchangeable kind of bit kit um, screwdriver. So of course I have the stock uh, Phillips and flathead on it right now, but of course you can put things like Torx, uh, square bits, really anything that you need on that uh, screwdriver and it will work well. Of course you can run this with the Leatherman bit kit and have plenty of options. So I really think those are like the top tools for me on the interior. And then of course going to the exterior, you have that fully serrated blade with the kind of seatbelt cutter or gut hook on on the 
end of it. And I really, I think like a lot of people, I really do wish Leatherman would use this tool here on more of their two, uh, knives as a whole. Things like the Surge would definitely benefit from this one. I don't know why they make this and only put it on the charge because I feel, I mean, ultimately I feel like it's because this is their higher end tool. They try to have the nicer, cooler things on it. But honestly, if this was on the Wave, the Surge, um, all of them, this would be an awesome tool just to make across the board. Anyways, then you also have the saw, and I really do like the saw. I think it's uh, maybe a little bit underrated for everyday carry, like urban life. But as someone like myself who does vary between urban living and you know survival or wilderness practices, it's nice having the saw. Now, granted, the saw does not beat my Silky Gone Boy or my uh, you know Baco Laplander by any stretch of the imagination, but having a saw is always better than not having a saw. So I really do like that as well. And then lastly, of course, on this one, you have 154CM as the main blade. On my other G10 version, I have the S30V uh, like premium, uh, premium blade on it. And that's not too big of a deal for me. And honestly, the blade, while nice on these uh, knives or these multi-tools, don't get me wrong, they are good. I really honestly don't use it that much because I really do usually run a main blade, something like a, just a dedicated either fixed blade or folder. That means that it kind of negates the purpose of that blade itself. Anywho, you know, the tools are Aside from that, the tools are really great and uh, they're all very functional. And that's probably one of my biggest things about uh, multi-tools as a whole. That's why you guys don't see me carry a lot of things like Victorinox is Victorinox uh, multi-tools. Don't get me wrong. They are good tools and their quality is there. But oftentimes a lot of the tools that are on a Victorinox just really aren't applicable to my life. And so you know, honestly, I would rather carry something like a Leatherman because just about every tool on this Charge Plus is a tool that I regularly either do use or definitely, you know, regularly use or do use throughout the course of a month or a couple months. Lastly, too, I think the carry options are pretty awesome for the charge. A lot of the multi-tools that Leatherman makes are actually compatible with things like this clip and with the lanyard, but they do actually send the clip with every charge. So with every charge you get, you get a, uh, a lanyard loop and the clip. And unfortunately, you can only run one or the other, but definitely running that uh, clip makes this thing a lot more carryable for me because then you don't have to put it in like a belt. Uh, pouch or anything like that you can just straight up carry it in your pocket on the pocket clip so overall for me uh you know i think this tool really strikes strikes a really good balance because it's a good size it has basically all the tools on it are tools that i use and i'm not really lacking anything that i want and while there are things like the scissors that i do wish would be better and like if they replaced let's say this file here with like the surge scissors i would be really happy about that that would be really cool but by and large just about everything on this guy is very useful to me and very applicable so as far as the experience goes when carrying this thing um, you know I think like as far as quality as far as you know durability goes uh, this one's actually a good example part of the reason why I've had multiple surges is because I actually lost this surge in the snow over uh, like I, it happened in the winter and then I found it in the spring and so this one's a little bit uh, you know not as smooth as it could be for that reason you guys can also probably see that uh, the handle the aluminum like black oxide has been kind of roughed up I believe the uh, this one also has some like damage on the uh, plier head from some more fun times because I think this one was left open, if I remember correctly, when it was left out. And so this one got kind of roughed up by like snow removal stuff. But uh, yeah, as far as quality goes, I think that's a good testament to its durability being left out all winter and actually pretty much all spring. So this thing was just basically sitting there in water for a while, kind of freeze thaw, freeze thaw kind of thing. But uh, it is, it's been good. Uh, I haven't had any issues or any breakages with these 
charges. I do see that the charges, you know, they command a high price, but they are really well built at just about any of the charges you get. And so they are a really good size, really good build quality, really useful tool setup. And I really have never had any complaints about any of the charges that I've owned. And that's another reason why I go and buy charges. I mean, that's why I have several surges as well, is because I find that they're very applicable for wilderness uh, tasks and use, but they're also still very high quality, very useful tools. And uh, yeah, I definitely have no complaints about surges either, but the charge has been great for the past few years and probably into the future. Once again, I definitely run things like this Topo um, Skeletool as well because this Skeletool is a little bit more pared down. It's actually about the same size or length, but it's a lot thinner than the charge. And so if I'm really just wanting those pliers as opposed to, you know, a full on multi tool, sometimes I'll take the Skeletool. But by and large, I really like the Surge or I really like to charge a lot. It's very hard to not want to carry it because of all the versatility and utility that it has. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.